Alright, <clears throat> I, uh, I did this video before and didn't realize there was actually porno links in the video. It's good porn, but, uh, you know, I had to take it down, just to make sure. But anyways, um, yeah, I, di I didn't remove it because, uh, I was scared or something. <laughs> no, uh, so basically the re video is about this. It's about the failure rate of the PS4 not looking too good. My guess is about 45% as opposed to the 0.4% that was reported by Sony. Uh, do uh, bad ratings, a lot of blue light of death issues, dead on arrival, dead out of the box, dead, 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 another one bites the dust, Hi, you know, defective system. Now, I'm not a, you know, like an Xbox fanboy, or Xbox, especially not Xbox One. Um, <laughs> I don't support the Xbox One either because of Microsoft and stuff. I mean, I have a 360, but uh, not really the Xbox One thing. And no, uh, I have a Wii U, and I honestly can even tell you that I don't recommend that you get it. Even though I really like it, it's, um, you know, Nintendo needs to do a lot more with it. So, no, that's not the point here. The point here is I wanted to point it out for anyone who may be thinking about getting one. Be careful because apparently they're not doing so well. Uh, at least Amazon is uh, showing that uh, there are a lot of defective units showing up in people's uh, places or houses or whatever. So there are a lot of... And you know, the two-star reviews also state that the device is not really functioning properly. And it's not just Xbox... or Yeah, it's not just Xbox fanboys making fake reviews to get back at... Uh, Sony fanboys or some horse shit. There are actual... I'm sure there are some in there, but there are actual real reviews of people who receive their, uh... You know, dead-on-arrival systems. See, even there's Air Amazon verified purchase, which means that they did purchase this uh, system, and here it says system dead-on-arrival. So that's kind of proof of the fact that Yes, these, this is the experience people are having. Now, not everybody, of course, is having this. This is a fairly new console launch, and these people rushed in to say that this thing was great. For all we know, those systems could become defective later, a little later on. So, I don't know that. But, yeah, we do have... Even some of the three-star reviews are complaining about uh, the system. South pause, beware. Okay. So, let me see. I don't know, whatever. Um, it's not left-handed friendly? I don't, I don't know, whatever, who cares. Um, so, yeah, but what, what I'm looking at here is, this looks like quite a high fa failure rate of the console. And, uh, yeah, so just, you know, that kind of sucks. Um, that kind of sucks. I mean, a lot of people are getting fucked up systems. And um, I'm actually glad I didn't have the money to purchase this. What the fuck? $999? What the hell's that about? Uh, launch edition, $999. I didn't think so. Um, <laughs> somebody apparently is selling a used one for $999. Anyways. So, yeah, just, uh, I would wait on, uh, the PS4. I'm sure they'll fix the problems. But, uh, yeah, uh, Right now, I would stay away from the PS4. It's, um... Sony's uh, failure rate is incorrect, and uh, Sony apparently didn't do a very good job um, making sure their systems work properly, which does piss me off, because a lot of people are purchasing these things. And I know, so, you know, there's always a bad app on the bunch, or there's always, like, you know, some issues, but, I mean, complete failures after the last fucking... Um, after last the last gen of consoles when they came out with all these complete horrible failures and now you let it go again um, with Xbox being the worst because they friggin let the red ring of death go on for eternity so I mean I was really I, I have a PS Vita I was looking I wanted to get a PS4 and, and have the remote play and whatever else they were going to include with the Vita that, that seemed really cool um, but I don't know man 
I'm going to let this one go for a little while until I can get some confirmation that the Sony has actually fixed their issues. Because um, I know if I bought this, this would be my issue too. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.